Hi and welcome back to the channel. So if you're new to the channel, I hope you find this interesting and please consider hitting that subscribe button if you like this kind of thing. So today I'm going to be reviewing this camera here. This is the Altair Hypercam 533C. So there's not that many reviews out there on this camera and this has been around for a little while. You may have seen recently that I reviewed the Altair Starwave Ascent 70ED and I paired that scope with this camera and I'll show you the image that I got with that setup. Um, today I'm putting this camera on my Ascar FRA 400. Now they pair very well together and hopefully we'll get a nice image with that. So this is going to be my take on this Altair Hypercam 533C. So this setup here, I used to have the, well I've still got the ASI Air, it's still attached to the Los Mandy plate. All I've done is I've mounted the Mealy Quarter 3 on the top, um, I've pulled the wires out of the ASI Air and plugged them into the Mealy Quarter 3. This is so I can run this with Nina, um, this has got a focuser attached and um, obviously I've had to do that because the Altair won't work with the ASI Air. So um, I've swapped it over, put the Mealy Quarter 3 on just so I could test this rig out. Um, the pairing should be fine, the scope with the camera and the pixel size and everything all works. It's, uh, it's a nice pairing so um, hopefully, um, hopefully we'll get a nice image with it. I haven't chosen the target yet so uh, I've still got that to do. A little bit more to sort out. Um, it's going to be a little while before it's dark. I'm going to get the observatory rig running as well. I'm working on a project on that, which I'll show you that another time. Hopefully it'll all work, we'll find out later. Um, yeah, I've got to pick a target and uh, then hopefully we'll get an image. So, firstly let's have a look how this camera is shipped. And it comes in this very nice hard case. And it's nicely padded, dense foam inside, and the camera is going to be very well protected inside here. You've also got a power supply for the camera and spacer. So this is really a nice sturdy case. It's gonna give a lot of protection to the camera. And uh, yeah, I'd be very happy to receive my camera in this case. Right, so if you take a look on the back of the camera, you will see there's a USB 3 connector here. You'll plug that into your mini PC. There's your 12 volt DC in and there's a USB 2 hub. There's also four little LED lights there to let you know what's going on. There's the power, there's a system light, there's a tech cooling light, and there's a fan light. And that sensor in there is the Sony IMX533 14-bit back illuminated sensor. So um, the fact it's back illuminated is very nice. So it's also got a heated anti-reflection coated optical window which reduces the risk of dew forming on the glass there. It's also got the built-in UV IR cut filter as well. So very useful features to have. It's a nine megapixel sensor. Um, the size of the sensor is um, 16 mil across. It's got a, a full well capacity of 50 ke and the pixel size is actually 3.76 so they're quite small pixels. Bear that in mind when you put this camera onto a scope it's really going to uh, bring that image in a lot closer. So if you're hoping for a really wide field you will 
you will um, lose a bit of that wide field because the small pixel size is going to basically zoom in on the area that you're imaging. So this obviously comes as a square sensor. I don't see that as a problem. I'm sure it won't take you long to get used to that. So another nice little feature on here is a tilt plate and you've got four positions that you can adjust that with. So the two stays tech cooling on this camera will cool the camera to minus 40 below ambient. So there's some very nice features on this camera. Um, at the time of this review, the price in the UK is £650. And I suppose I better mention the, the fact that it's purple. <laughs> it's actually a very nice colour. I like it. I'm, I mean, I'm used to the red colour of my ZWO cameras, but this is different. Um, yes, yeah, rather cool. I like it. So I'm going to get the camera back on the rig and wait for a clear sky and uh, we'll try and get some images with it. target is going to be part of the veil nebula. This section here is known as the witch's broom. That is the square sensor paired with the Ascar FRA 400. That is hopefully the framing and the image that I'm going to get. So I thought I'd try and get an image with this rig as well. So I've taken off the 2600mm Pro and filter wheel and I've put on the Altair 533C on the Esprit 120, which is 840mm. Um, I'm gonna try and get on to the Ghost Nebula tonight. And I've got a window of about two and a half hours, if it stays clear that is. So um, all being well, we'll get an image with this setup as well. So my final thoughts on a 533C. Value for money, I don't think you're going to go far wrong with this. It's got a lot of nice features, it's got the uh, heated optical window, it's got the built-in UV IR filter, and it's a very nice camera to use. And I found it very easy to connect to Nina, and it produced a very nice image. And what else can I say? Uh, it's purple, <laughs> it's got a square sensor, and uh, yeah, I think it's a very nice camera. So I'd like to say a big thanks to Altair Astro for the loan of this camera. It's been great fun using it. And if you want to know more about the camera, then go to the Altair Astro website and you'll find all the information you need on there. So thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting and maybe even useful. Uh, if you like this kind of thing and you're not subscribed yet, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. That'd be much appreciated. I really hope you like the image at the end. And um, of course, as always, I wish you all clear skies. Thank you.